swab sample is easy and a very good tool for answering questions about visual growth. The swab kit consists of a single plastic fiber tip swab and a swab tube inside a sterile sealed package. It is a convenient, easy to use direct sample that can be performed quickly and easily. A swab sample is a direct sample of any surface to determine whether a substance is mold, if it represents mold growth, and whether or not that mold growth is the origin of mold spores in the air as determined using air sampling cassettes. Swab samples will reveal the kind of mold on the surface and whether or not there is the presence of current or former mold growth. It is not possible to determine how long a mold growth has been growing or if it is currently growing. If the surface is wet, the mold growth is probably actively growing. However, if the surface is dry, there may not be current growth. Remember, some mold types like Aspergillus, Penicillium, and Wallemia can grow and spread when available moisture is extremely limited. Most indoor mold swab samples are not taken to test if the mold is alive. Most swab samples are used to test the presence of mold and if it is growing now or has grown and is a source of mold spores in the air. Thus, it is not necessary to use gloves when taking a swab sample. Mold from swab samples is normally not counted because the counts are meaningless. Because a swab sample is not used in the same way each time, each surface is different, and the area and pressure used to collect the sample varies. To begin taking a swab sample, make sure your clothes and hands are dust free. Make sure to never touch the white fabric tip of the swab. The first thing you need to do is locate the area to be sampled. Then make sure the swab sample has not expired. The expiration date is located just under the white cap on the swab tube. Peel open the swab sampling kit to expose just enough of the swab to grasp the green cap. Remove the swab from the package and sample the surface using a back and forth rubbing motion. It is helpful to rotate the swab in your fingers as you sample. After the sample is collected on the tip of the swab, carefully break the seal on the swab tube without touching the swab tip or placing the swab on any surfaces. Discard the swab tube cap and place the swab firmly into the sterile tube. Label the swab tube with the sample location and a serial number of your choosing or one that was assigned within the Inspector Lab application on your mobile device. Normally swabs are labeled swab number one, swab number two, etc. and the sample location is recorded on the chain of custody or in the Inspector Lab app on your mobile device. 